now there are a couple of aspects okay so first thing to be understood is sta only verifies synchronous part of the design okay and what is synchronous and what is asynchronous we'll talk about that but sta relies on basic thing that you know what your clocks are there in the design and it only and clocks means synchronous as in something is dependent upon clock means synchronous so it can only verify synchronous parts of the design and we'll little bit talk about that also it cannot verify asynchronous part of the design so you have analog logic which is asynchronous or you have for example clocks which are asynchronous will will understand how you can determine uh, the clocks which are asynchronous so it cannot verify that part of the design so those that is something uh, a disadvantage of sta but in itself it gives you a lot of advantage okay so it is the important part in this sta static timing analysis is static okay so what is the meaning of static is you're not giving any test bench okay you're not writing test bench okay whether with this test bench my design works whether with another test bench my design work whether with another test bench my design works you're not doing that because it is static in nature so that giving each test bench and we'll be running simulation and testing something is known as dynamic verification okay something which is known as dynamic you're changing your signal dynamically but here the nature is static that you're not giving any test wind the advantage of that is if you verify something it is verified no matter what individual signal values are there on the reason for example let's say you have designed with two flops so four possible values are there right zero one one zero one one and zero zero right four possible values can occur for those flops if you have to write test bench probably you have to write test bench for each of these values so you have to probably write four test bench or at least four values you have to simulate the advantage of static is you don't have to put any of these values once you have verified something statically it will work for any possible values of combinations which are present in the design how that happens we will we'll talk about that but basically you're not setting any particular values on the flops and as you can imagine right if there are thousands or millions of flops on the design you can't even verify everything dynamically so that's where static timing analysis comes into the picture so it does not use dynamic logic simulation it is usually very fast and can run on bigger designs uh, like compared to simulation right if you try to run a simulation on soc for example let's say iphone which is a billion gate chip simulation will really really take a lot of time that's why people use actually use emulation but static analysis can still run on those designs uh, and then you, you when you run statically you you're not dependent upon value so you get 100% coverage so it's exhaustive in nature because you do, you're not setting any values you're running statically using mathematical techniques which we will talk about that means once you have verified it it's exhaustive in nature that no matter what particular state my design is in it will still work as in it's you're not you're exhaustive in nature you have covered all possible cases when you're running statically now the limitations is it's it does not verify the functionality of the design as in, you you can tell whether you're meeting setup or whole time but if functionality is correct or not whether signal should value should have been one or whether the signal value should have been zero it cannot verify so it cannot it can verify timing performance of your design but it cannot verify the functionality of the design functionality of the design has to be verified separately 